As we're in the final month of the regular season, it's looking very likely that the Vancouver Canucks will not make the playoffs this year. But does that mean that the rest of the games are meaningless? Is there a lot more to play for? We discuss that on the Shifts and Pucks podcast. But yeah, I, I hate the just like oh, it's just another game and a string of whatever. It, there, there, there are things to watch for this team. There's um, the continued progression of Pod Colson. It's not just about the playoffs, right? Continued progression of Pod Colson. Um, you've got who is going to assert themselves and, and make sure that they are they are part of this team going forwards. Because this this upcoming off season is going to be huge. I think there's going to be some drastic changes. And yeah, it sucks that we don't have Quinn Hughes playing tonight because he's sick, and you have. Um, Brock Besser out with an injury, but you still have to look at that and say, these guys are playing for jobs and you want to see what this team looks like going forwards. We have a lot of talk about what, when, and then it, it, can this team turn around and, and start being competitive and being uh, it more in the playoff talk properly um, going into next season and beyond. And well, what- I just I look at that that way, and I just if you're so focused on just the playoffs, and once the playoffs are done, you're out. Okay, that's fine. But for me, I just look at it and go, "There's so much. There's so many good good stories that we. I want to. I want to take a look. I want to see. And then, and I said you've got maybe they maybe we start seeing Jack Rathbone, and then it, before the end of the season, maybe we see. Um, maybe we start seeing Vasily Podkols and get plant being played higher up in the lineup or he he make he he basically just knocks down that door and 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 forces Bruce Brodro's hand which is what he wants so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm coming from I have a lot more uh, a long term approach I I have throughout for most of this the most of this run too um, it sucks that the yeah they couldn't keep it up and 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 stay within the realistic chance of the playoffs here, but there's still more to watch watch than just the playoff run here. Well, I'm trying I, to defend Kevin in the sense that I'm pretty sure he didn't mean that these games are meaningless. It's just that the, the likely chance of making the playoffs yeah. isn't there. And I we, very much in the same boat. We 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 talked last week about kind of trying to be the more positive part of Canucks of Canucks land, and I I just didn't want to don't want people to think yes, well if they win they we still believe they have a chance. I I'm just not at that point of believing that they're they're going to be competing for the playoffs anymore. I think it's pretty much Nashville, Dallas, Vegas battling for those final two spots. What do you think? Who would you like to see the Canucks play in the final stretch here in the regular season? Let us know. Follow us on Twitter at Shifts and Pucks, Facebook.com Shifts and Pucks, YouTube.com Shifts and Pucks, Twitch.com Shifts and Pucks. Subscribe wherever you get your audio as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network.